Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you a unique method on how to trade directly from your chart. So first up, if you don't already have one open, you should open up a chart to do this. I suggest going through your quote board here, selecting on the contract you wish to trade, and then clicking on your open chart button. We do already have the default chart opened up here, so we will be navigating through this option. So I will expand this to make it a bit bigger. Um, I would like to mention that when trading through the chart, I suggest to enable your crosshairs. By default, I believe it is on show on button press. If not, you can always click on show always. If you don't like the crosshair for whatever reason, you can deactivate it. I don't think this is the best method, however, because having a crosshair on allows you to get a better an accurate representation of the current price you are currently at, not to mention that those lines do extend to those uh, Y and X axes. Uh, once you do have the crosshair enabled, you can change the type. So by default, I believe it is on thin and dash, as you can see here. I just have mine on medium, and I have it to a solid line for better viewability. The last thing I would like to mention in relevance to the crosshair here in your cursor, by default, the show prices on may not be off. I may be incorrect on that, but whatever the case may be, if you do like that price indicator to the top left of my crosshair there shown and it is not enabled, you can come down here to the cursor window and just simply click on show prices on. If you don't like this option, you can disable it. Now, as for actually trading through the chart, it's really quite simple, actually. You just scroll over the current price you'd like to place your trade at. We can right-click it, and then as you can see, we do have our different options there, our limits, our stops, and our two markets. So if you do like to trade out the market, it actually doesn't matter where you're placing your trade or where you're right-clicking. But for those limit and stop orders, this may be the method for you. So once in that right click context menu, we can select the corresponding order type and it will bring up our order entry window. Now doing this the default way is a good method. If you want to use um, an advanced strategy under your order types here, if you aren't familiar with any of these or need some help configuring them and would like to save some of these strategies, feel free to refer to our other video on this topic. Otherwise, for this video, we'll just be sticking to single orders. Now, once you do have this order confirmation window up, you can customize any of the fields as you see fit. And once you're ready, you can click submit order. Now, the only problem with this, and although there's nothing wrong with it, is many of our traders here at Optimus do trade high frequency. They're trading very often, and they need their trades to be placed instantly. So again, there's no problem with this method, but the one problem for it with our uh, high frequency traders is that by the time they do right click on their price, come down to whatever order type they need, and then change everything and submit their order, the market has already moved and prices are already fluctuating. Now again, this may not be a problem for your average trader, the trader who trades long term, but for those guys who are trading very frequently, once that price moves, and the market's already beginning to fluctuate, they may have already lost out on an opportunity. Now, we can actually avoid this in a couple different ways. For those guys that do need to trace, place their trades instantly, otherwise known as one-click trading and many other platforms, you can actually head up to settings here and go to general. And then there are three options for one-click trading. By default, we do have all-click trading um, disabled, I guess you could say, that will bring up that order entry window. Our other two options here are true one-click trading. So we can just simply click apply, head over to the market now, right click, and although we do not have funds, so we can't place a trade as you'll see here, just with a simple right click, it will automatically send that order to the exchange on a live funded account. Now, another method, which I would actually suggest over one-click trading, to avoid any mistakes, you can enable protected click trading. Now, at its heart, this is one-click trading. However, to actually place the trade, you'll need to hold down the shift key on your keyboard. So again, 
This is the same exact thing as one click trading as long as you held, hold shift down. If you're not holding shift down, it will bring up that order entry window as we saw before, which actually may be better off in the long run because you can place those advanced order strategies if you need to, such as an OCO by simply just right clicking and then choosing your different trade there and customizing the different options in that menu. Or if you need to place a very quick trade at the price you right click at, you can simply just be holding down your shift key while right clicking. And then again, while holding down that shift key, you can simply select that button there. You can even see when I do hold down shift on our chart, we actually do get that different price there. So look, you'll see it does say sell the following contract at the current price. So that is quite nice. Just something to keep in mind. Again, enabled one click trading or protected trading as they do call it on this platform. But that just about wraps it up, guys. Again, all your chart trading will be done through the right click. Or if you do have the protected click trading on, you can click shift down. It will hold that price there. And then again, you'll avoid that order confirmation window. Something very unique to this platform, and it is very helpful, especially in regards to risk. We hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future fire tip content. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.